So welcome, my name is Possible, and in today's video we are going to be talking about how to set up a Facebook pixel with WordPress using Track and Code Manager. Um, so first of all, there's a couple things you have to go into the settings inside Facebook and get into the Ad Manager for you can create the pixel and all that stuff. Okay, so when you're actually creating your pixel, um, so if you're using WordPress, it's very easy to track, and this is going to help you for any traffic that's coming into your website, right? Um, so there's a couple things that you're going to need um, before before we log into Facebook into into WordPress. Hopefully, at some point you have a place where you you send people to to a thank you page, um, a uh, for a place where they buy something. Um, doesn't matter on the page. I uh, the, inside the plugin they added a new feature for WooCommerce. I don't use that most of the time. I don't even send people to WooCommerce. I usually send them directly to all my sales pages, or anything like that. Okay, so this is for retargeting. So if you're not planning on running Facebook ads, or you plan on doing it in the future, this is going to help you create a custom audience, anyways. And when you do get to that point, okay. So <clears throat> let's go in and let's drive into this, right? So when, I'm gonna move my face for you can see. Okay, so when you come in here, I'm gonna do the drop down and you know go be like create ads. We're not creating no ad, we're just going into the ad Facebook ad manager itself where we're able to go to the pixel section. And it looks like my stuff is freezing. So I don't know how good this video is gonna be if it if it sucks or if it's gonna keep on and my computer's been running really slow today. So there's nothing I can do there. Um, so why this slow as Facebook tries to do its thing? Or I'll move my face back over here. Okay, so there is a plugin. I have about I got many different plugins on my site. Um, don't worry about all our plugins. What you're gonna look for is is this plugin right here. It says track and code manager. You don't go into your plugins and you don't hit add new. Now this is directly inside of all the plugins. You don't have to install it. You have to you got download it on your computer. Uh, so let's move my face again. So we, I am going to be moving my face a lot. So make sure you know how to do this. And it's this one right here. It says, oops, it says tracking code manager right here. And so it says plug and manage. But this is the one that we're going to be using. So I'm gonna go back to all install because uh, I don't remember where it's at on here. I believe it's in settings though. Uh, yep. So I'll, I'll actually download it, go to settings, and you know, we're gonna go to track and code manager. Okay. So we're gonna come down here. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna set this up first because I don't know how good uh, my computer is gonna run for me for this entire series. Um, but we're not creating no ad. Obviously, you know, hit, hit this drop down. And you go into pixels. Okay, after you get into the pixels, um, okay, it says take, it'll take, a, take a moment here. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna download this. First of all, you're gonna add new. I'm not gonna add new, I'm gonna go into my my first one. This, this is the main one that I'm using. Like, this is gonna track your entire website. So, anything that's an opt in, that's a, that's a blog post. Of any traffic that you have coming into your site or any anything that, that you're looking into anything just basic blogs and pages and, and just all the traffic in general like people that are they'll be interested in your niche and your brand and see what you're doing okay so Facebook has loaded it looks like um, okay so we see the events I believe this is today. I don't know how long this is. I I personally do not look at this. Um, so it's been a while. Let's let's go into here. As I said, it's, it's been a while since I actually added the pixel. So custom conversions data. Now my computer is running really slow, so this is just going to take me forever. And it seems like it. So. You, you should bring up there there should be a yeah here we are so it says right here so it says let me edit this 
So yours says create a custom audience, create a conversion. Okay, so yours should have nothing on it. There's there's no conversions. There's nothing added in the card. There's none of that stuff. So you don't come right over here where it says setup. Now, when you first come in, you don't you, you don't go into data sources, and then, then you go to setup. Now, mine's already set up, so we are going to do this manually, right? You don't need a developer. You know, we're going to do this manually because we're going to use a plugin. And if if you're a developer, you can do this all by hand if you want. Okay, so one of the first codes that you are going to copy is this one. This is the code you're going to copy. So. At this time, you should already have this ad manager up on um, this track and ad code manager. And when you do, you're going to create your first one. You should, should already activate it. It already should be installed. And at this point, you, we should be moving on to what's next. Okay. <clears throat> now, for me, I'm going to hit edit. For you, we're, not, we're going to add, add a new tracking code. Now, you see it where it says everywhere. Everywhere is on include everything from your blog posts to opt-ins and just your entire site. So we're tracking your entire site. So yours is going to be blank. And what you're going to do is you're just going to come in here. Let's see if my computer works. Ugh. Okay. My computer don't want to work for me right now. Okay. Okay, so you're going to name your your pixel what, whatever you want to name it if you just call it one two three or uh you're selling a i don't know a, a product for nutrition or fitness or whatever it is this is going to be me, your main so from here you know put this in the head you know so hit head and your first line it's not letting me do it but anyways okay now say here we go. And we have the entire script so if this script wasn't here on this first line, when you copied it, you just want to hit Control V. I'm not going to do it because it's going to add the same exact code. Is you you don't hit Control V and it's going to come down with all of this code that you have right here, and you ain't going to do nothing else besides you're just going to show uh, all standard and keep everything the same. So you don't have to mess with nothing of it should already be in standard. It should be in the entire website for page, post, archives. Uh, you're not excluding anything. And then from there, all you're going to do is you're going to hit save. So now we go back into Facebook. And we're going to hit continue. Obviously, I'm not going to continue all the way um, because mine's already set up the way I have it. And Jesus Christ. And my computer saying forever. Okay, so depending on what you're doing, and and, and all of these have its own little deal. Um, so if you're trying to do a purchase, you're gonna click purchase. Um, if you're just doing so, if you're if you're just doing leads, you'll hit lead, and and you'll do complete registration, right? And let's say at info, but if you're just, we're just going to do view, view content, submit application, subscribe, start trial. Now, there, there's a lot of different things that you can do for a lot of different situations. Um, okay, so we're, you're going to add a brand new one, right? And for me, I'm going to edit. You're going to hit a brand new one. I'm going to hit edit. I'm not going to tell you some of the features that need to be. I have a couple things on mine because uh, I have a couple different pages um, for the tracking. Uh, show on device. Um, okay, now this one is going to be after the body. And you, you're going to put standard code and tracking for WordPress. And when you come down here, you're going to hit for specific pages. See, I have cart, checkout, Instagram complete course. And thank you for your order. Okay. So these are all different pages that are on my website. And now I have one set up for my actual course, the one that's inside of my, um, that actually goes to my, uh, my, my, my course, goes to my sales page. Well, that's on a completely 
different ad manager. Um, I don't remember to log in. I don't really log in that one too often. Um, so you, you see when you do this, you know, you'll grab your script, right? And you're just going to copy. And what you're going to do, you know, come back over here and copy every single one that needs to be inserted, right? So mine is complete registration, lead, purchase, add the cart, and view content. Now, anyone that's viewed my content, I, I know and I track them and just get them onto my custom audience. And this way, later down the road, so say, say if you do run ads and you run boosted posts, and that's all you do is boost a post for the next six months, and you're trying to trying to track their information. So then, when 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 you do run an ad for maybe an opt-in or something, maybe you're just um, boosting your posts for some people that you're blogging. Just this is get them there. Just get visitors, right? So you so you're collecting that data. You're collecting that data. Um, so so basically, you just gonna put this, and you, and you see where this is. Where this is, it says end end of code this would be the code that you would put here so all of them should have this every single one um, I think it's the one that we got copied so you just hit control C and after you're done placing all your stuff you're just gonna hit put this end code in here I'm, I'm not gonna actually do it okay so and you and after that you push control V so I'll paste it in there but before you do that Let's say th this is going to be the one you're adding first, right? Uh, which one is this? This is the no for payments. No, this is for uh, to complete registration. So you just hover over this, just click it, just left click, come in here, and where it says this, obviously, oh shit, Why the fuck shit up. Okay, so you just only. You're gonna do the same thing. Control V and how many of the different pixels that you that you want. So let's say if you add the cart. So you know, open this up. There should be a little pixel down here. And now, if you know how much each conversion is for each single every time someone buys, you know, add in all the info here. Now, if you don't know the info. Then you're then you're not going to put any of that in, and you're just going to kind of track everything through time, and just push everything that way. So after that, like after you're done, you're done. Also, all the stuff that you're choosing. So so after you're done, and you have all this stuff. So this I just name it tracking pixel after after buying. So I have I have all these different pixels, which is one, two, three, four, five, and six. I got people that view content. People add a car and purchase and lead because every single one of these pages are completely different because I, I have an absolute, I, I got a thank you page that goes directly to thank you. I have the, the complete actual course and a checkout and cart. So I, I have different features that go to different stuff like if they're going to complete the registration, if they're going to purchase, if they're going to do certain things. So I, I know what they're doing, what they're not doing. If, if if they purchase on my website. Now, there's not a lot of times I send them to my website. As I said, a lot of times I send them to a pixel, um, not to a pixel, but to a sales page. So if you want to track that link, the best thing I can tell you is download a, a uh, so if you have an offline sales page, um, so the, the best option is to do is download a thing called pre-link. So if you're offsite and you can actually put that and you can where you're able to track that link of how many clicks is getting. Um, obviously, you, you won't know how many conversions. If you have an email marketing software, it'll tell you the, the actual conversions that you're using for that. Other than that, this is pretty much it of how to set up your pixel inside of Facebook. And later on, <laughs> The, the, whole, the whole point of getting your pixel set up is later on when you start running ads and you and you can build a custom audience that is targeted for the people that come visit your site. And that's a lot cheaper for you to spend on ads and, and things of that matter. Um, so this is pretty much how to set up the pixel. 
for your site, and this will track everything that goes on your site from from your article, from your blog articles, people that are visiting your your homepage, and people that are opting in. So you you know where everyone is coming from, especially on the email list. You have you have people coming back to your content, and then they get added back into the pixel. So every time they come, and as long as they got a Facebook account, this is very effective. Um, other than that, this is pretty much. This is exactly the end of how to set up a pixel with WordPress using Track and Code Manager. It's very simple. Um, I'm gonna go over this one last time, just in case you, in case I went too fast. Then after that, or you can just watch it again. You know what I mean, um, so you're gonna have two different pages, right? So you don't have two different pages. One. Is is the basic overall page, which you're gonna is what you're gonna do. Is you, you, I'm not I'm gonna go through this part real quick. Um, so you know, add your basic code from from Facebook, and you know, put it before the head and all standard, and you're not gonna exclude any posts or pages, and then you just hit save. Now the next part, you know, you know, go in, you know, add a brand new one. It's a little after the head, right? And so it's gonna go after the head. Of course, you're, you're gonna name them to what you're what you're gonna name them. You're gonna name them, and you're, you're gonna grab all your tracking codes, the ones you, that you're gonna use. With, if it's purchase, add the cart, view content, complete registration, whatever it is that your main function is on your site. That's what it's tracking. It's gonna track everything that's going on, that's viewing content, or what. Is that you're trying trying to do? Now you know do after body hit all standard tracking in your WordPress, which is mean it's going to completely track everything. Um, then you come down here and it's going to be in specific posts and pages. Then you include code in these pages. So mine was in the cart. Check out Instagram complete course and thank you for your order. And then after that, you just hit save. Okay, um, I hope, hope this was very useful for, for people that are just starting out and are looking more farther down the line of when they do use Facebook ads and you'll be able to add that info inside Facebook ads. But if you're not looking to use Facebook ads, maybe you want to add a pixel for Google for you to be able to run YouTube ads and all that stuff. But there's a whole nother subject. But anyways, I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks for all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment and tell me um a next video you would like to see. Other than that, I have a free training on on Instagram down below. If you want to take a look, grab it. If not, talk to you later.